Hello Facebook guys, people, I'm Konstantinos and today we're going to do an urgent video, a very small video about something that I have seen in the ad account settings and I want you to also check it into your ad accounts because maybe it's going to influence your results, maybe not. I just need to clarify that I haven't found this on my own, someone told me that, one of my friends and um, I have debated a lot with him if it's going to influence or not. I'm going to post it uh, so that uh, we can see also your opinion about it. Uh, let's go straight away to my PC to show you what I mean. So, without any further ado, I want you to uh, look at this. You can go here from your menu and you can click on Add Account Settings. Either it's going to appear here or it's going to be here under Advertise, okay? And when you're going to go there, you're going to either see, th see this, which is going to say Account Control, but in some other accounts, guys, my friend actually noticed that we have a difference here from the right side. Of course, you cannot see the accounts because I'm going to blur them. But let me take you to some. You're going to be able, for example, to see that we're going to have a new option over here, which is this one, the industry. It says, your industry helps us understand your ad account and ensure you have access to the right features, guidance and support. It doesn't say anything yet about specific audience and all of that so over here in this account for example uh, if we update the industry here we can have that we have option one and two and in this one it was consumer pack packaged goods while this is uh, e-commerce okay and let me tell you that as I understood, they are taking this information from the Facebook page. So we have to be careful of what has there. My friend also told me that this thing, he did the change one month ago and then it changed again to something else and so on. And he believes that he actually got influenced and uh, some of the campaigns uh, did wrong. I have... I have no idea if this is true or not. Uh, we can discuss it also with the community over here to see if this is right. But here it says, select the industry that best describes your business. You can select up to two industries to help define your business accurately. Changes you make here won't affect active campaigns. This is a little bit disturbing because it says it won't affect active campaigns. Is it going to campaign to affect my other campaigns? So I'm trying to understand that. Now, in the discussion that I had with him, I was discussing that the pixel is actually what, and the API is actually what is targeting the ideal customers and the pixel is in the website level. So it cannot be influenced by something like this in order to define who is going to target or not. On the other hand, we are running ads from a page which is having this information where this uh, setting over here it's taking the information uh, when you create a Facebook page we all know that's going to ask us in which industry we are in either we all of us or the people who don't know that we are idiots and we didn't know that this influenced the quality of our ads or it doesn't the pixel has nothing to do with that because it doesn't have any connection with the Facebook page is the targeting that we do and uh, the hot pocket is being created on the ad and then it's on the side which is actually tracking what is happening so it has nothing to do with the page but the ad account which is not actually doing the targeting of the ideal avatar client but is doing the targeting in terms of uh, customer quality how do we know that we know it because the facebook page and the ad account they are actually linked in a way of um, considering you a good advertiser or not. So if we take down that path and we say that in the ad account level, we can have some targeting, which is only influencing if these people are good clients or not and if they are going to convert or not. Why do we have bad results when we are actually having a declined payment? Because Facebook is actually giving us lesser quality traffic, which is happening because it considers us a bad advertiser and not a trustworthy advertiser. So we know that in the ad account level, we can take good quality or bad quality uh, traffic, which is going to convert or not. And we know from the Facebook page score that we can actually get good quality or bad quality if we have good page score or uh, bad page score. These are things that Facebook says and they have no problem admitting. So maybe, maybe this setting is going to influence the kind of people you are going to get in terms of quality, but not in terms of ideal avatar clients. 
Okay, now, I don't know, uh, I think that you should put e-commerce in any uh, way if you're doing e-commerce and if you're doing any service, I like to put over here the professional services and in the second option, I like to put retail uh, or leave it uh, like this. Okay, it's going to appear here on the top. Uh, you should go and you should check it because in one ad account, for example, which is e-commerce, it was publishing, for example, okay? Some stupid options. It's taking data from the page, as I told you, and all the other things that I told you in the way that I see it and uh, I think that it might be influencing results or not. So go and check that it's e-commerce. On the other hand, if we talk about quality, it's fine. I guess we're going to get people uh, of um, good quality inside the e-commerce. But in order for us to test it efficiently, everybody needs to know about that and actually have e-commerce or other things so that we can see the difference between uh, the people that they don't uh, actually going to uh, have um, this option enabled to e-commerce or to whatever they are. Let me know if you had any bad settings over here. Let me know if uh, you did the change and uh, if you see any differences in the next days. Uh, and uh, let me know your opinion in technical level if you think that it's going to influence or not. In any way, I had to inform you so that you can do whatever you want about it. I will see you for the closing of the video. So that's all I had for you. I'm looking forward to your comments and what you believe. And uh, until we meet again, don't forget that if you want to learn more, you can check my book, my course, my website, my other videos. Until we meet again, as I said earlier, be creative and be consistent. Guys.